It's way underweight today. Although it could weigh 30, it only weighs 19. Yeah, absolutely stunning the difference between the weight allowance and what it actually weighs. And it is going to be really interesting to see if that front wedge on Kazal Light can actually be effective against such a heavy opponent. Five. Yeah, four, this is going to be three, a tough one. Two. For Kazal Light. Fight, robots, As fight. with so many robots, the key for Kazal Light here is to get around to the sides or the back <laughs> of its opponent. The sound of Mirage is yeah, incredible. Yeah, there's that fire! And that was a good torching. I mean, yeah. the spinning blade it looks like is almost able to put out the fire on the front of Kazal Light. Now, Mirage has been dominant in drive today, but their weapon consistently goes down. As we see, again, it seems to have gone down. Now, Kazal Light is interesting because it has an ability to turn that fire up and down, but even at a low level of blast, like we're seeing here, that will still damage an opponent if it can direct it to the right now, spot. I am seeing a lot of flame inside of Kazal Light, not quite where you want it to be. True, but that is uh, unfortunately the reality of many flame-based <laughs> robots. Uh, if you can have a flame move forward, it means you need air to move forward, which means you need a pathway where conceivably that flame could also move backward <laughs> and come back and visit you. Now, uh, Mirage, very dominant, as we said, in drive today, uh, just using its weight and these cleated uh, shuffler feet to really grab into the ground and bully its opponents around. Kazaa Light was having issues. It's such a lightweight robot that after pushing around big robots for three minutes, it was very slow towards the end of its earlier yeah, fight. That, that said, look, this is incredible. The fact that it's able to push around that 45-pound robot at all is nuts. Yeah. Um, Great traction on those little wheels that Kazaa Light is using. And we'll see. Basically, this is a test of drivetrain durability as you're full speed pushing an opponent around. Uh, and Kazaa Light seems to be going slow. I do wonder if this is an overheating issue on their internals. Yeah, the right hand side still spinning its wheels. Left hand side just barely, but hey, it comes back to life. Yeah, it could be overheating, triggering sort of a, a, of a reset there maybe. All the flames getting sucked inside combined with hard pushing is not good for your electronics. No, and you can see, oh, it's interesting. If you look very closely at them, you can see the pilot light, excuse me, the glow plug mm -hmm. on Kazaa Light. When it stops moving, that, that glow goes away. Interesting. So, so they are the entire having... system is dying or, or fading anyway. Some sort of intermittent issue. Very, very interesting. That said, not looking good for Kazaa yeah, Light. Could they be uh... off to a great start, but... Um, it's similar to its last fight, just really great in the beginning and slowing down as it goes on. I wonder if it's a battery life issue. You know, first bot jitters here, uh, both of these bots rookies. But Mirage still going strong, so I think if this does make You're it to the judges, it's going to go to Mirage, in my opinion, as they dominate I think uh, you're right. this fight. This is one of the best first showings we've seen from Joshua Reinhardt. Uh, he shows up with really interesting fire robots time and time again, but so often there is uh, something about our cages, something about the arena, something about the floor that was just